I'm attempting to do is a little bit of science, okay, and data analysis. So I purchased this, it's a, a Safe and Sound Pro 2 broadband radio frequency meter and it measures radio frequencies within the the spectrum of 200 megahertz to 800 gigahertz so that's the lower band and the mid band of the current 5g frequencies within the uk they are looking at going to the higher band at some point in the future and that's around about the i think the 20 to 60 gigahertz range or there or thereabouts but currently they tell us that they're not operating within those ranges so what I've decided to do is to take measurements at different locations and record them and see how they change over time now I don't believe that this is switched on I've currently taken some measurements just give me one second um, down at what's locally called the hole in the hedge down at the bottom um, we're probably talking 250 meters away from the mast um, and I've taken five different readings each of one minute each and I've taken the peak maximum reading of micro watts per meter squared okay I've then taken five one minute readings at the bus stop and I'm, then I'm going to take five one minute readings outside here and then at two other hello at two other locations I'm also going to check it with another mast or another couple of masts in Brinnington as well because I do believe that they're switched on I don't think this is on at the moment so I'm just over the other side of Stockport Road West from Morrison's and the readings that I got on the meter were significantly higher here than everywhere else I got a peak reading of here from the five readings that I took of 62,300 micro watts so that's 0.6 of a watt compare that to other readings um, down at the hole in the hedge the highest reading I got was 1,800 micro watts but that was when a guy walked past me with a mobile phone and that shot up but I was averaging somewhere around about the three to 400 uh, micro watts so I wondered why it was so high here and then I realised there's another um, radio frequency antenna just behind the Morrison's building I don't know if you can see it from this video but where the Morrison sign is behind us there's one of the old style um, antennas uh, so I'm not sure if it's it's um, 4G or 5G but it's there in the distance I'll try and zoom in and see if we, we can see it but it's, that was quite interesting so this spot where I'm at now will be directly in line of sight of that antenna and directly in line of sight of the antenna which is outside the Travellers Call pub uh, that's probably about 200 metres down in that direction maybe a little bit less than that So as you can see guys, I am here just on the edge of the beer garden at the Travellers Call Pub. I'm going to take five readings from here as well because as you can see the mass is just behind me and the people are going to be sat directly underneath it when they turn it on. I don't believe it's turned on at the moment from um, the readings that I've taken around the area. Uh, I'm going to go and test that theory when I go and see when I go to Brinnington and I know there's two masts there and they've been up for a while I think we're going to get significantly higher readings the readings I've taken from around this area at the moment um, it doesn't appear to be uh, anything coming from this mast I'm now here at the back entrance to Arden Park Primary School which is on Stockport Road West I'm guessing we're approximately 300 to 350 meters away from the mast um, it's densely populated with trees which is a good thing because the millimeter waves find it difficult to penetrate the trees um, come winter time there's going to be less leaves on the trees so maybe the signal strength will be able to penetrate it i don't know um, just to give you a bit of perspective this is Stockport Road West and the mast is up the hill directly behind me now and there's trees all the way lining the road 
So I'll start to take the readings now and let's see what we can get. So I've just finished taking the readings outside Arden Park Primary School, all pretty low, all below um, 1000 microwatts and they were significantly lower than that as well. It only seemed to go that high when what I thought appeared to be an electric vehicle uh, went past because we're very close to the road here. Something that did occur to me though was that I can imagine some people watching this will be thinking and, and these aren't real, really nice people that do this kind of stuff. But they'll be, if they're against what I'm trying to do for whatever reason, they'll accuse me of hanging around a primary school taking videos of children. Well, go ahead and try it if that's your game. But obviously you can see what I'm doing. I'm here with a meter trying to assess the amount of radio frequency radiation which is going to be uh, imposed upon those um, those kids in that school so anyway if anybody does try that yeah I know your game all right just thought I'd um, I'd get that one in there before you do that's the world we live in unfortunately and the reason I'm saying this now is because when we were up videoing them trying to install the mask the other day, uh, well, a few weeks ago now, um, one guy inside the car park, it, sorry, inside the beer garden, tried to accuse me of taking videos of his kid, all right, and reported me to the police for that when I was taking videos of the workers trying to install the mast. Yeah, these are rotten people, you know, using their kids as ammunition. Yeah, got no time for them at all. There's a 5G mast. You've got Lenham Towers just there. You've got what appears to be a 4G mast just here. You've got hollow end towers in the distance just there. And then you've got Dutton Towers here. Yeah, also guys, um, there was actually four towers around here as well. There's one in the distance just there. You can see it if you look just beyond the mast. Um, I forget what it's called. I think it begins with an R, Romeo, Romello. I'm not sure. So this is the uh, second of the two masts in Brinnington. You can see it behind me. It's um, centered pretty much at the heart of the Brinnington shopping area. They used to call this area the top shops years ago. Um, you got the post office and the Chinese chip in the background. And I'm in the car park of the B&M here and all the other shops are in the distance there. Okay, so we'll take the readings here now. Good. 
Hi guys, thanks for staying with me. Um, it's the very next day uh, and I've done lots more research and lots more diving into, um, into these studies on 5G and radio frequency radiation. So, you saw me wandering around with this meter. Okay, I'll explain a little bit about it. It's the Safe and Sound Pro 2 broadband RF meter made by a company called Safe Living Technologies uh, and they're based in Canada. I had to import this from Canada. I wanted to, to get this specific meter because it's the one which is being used in some proper scientific studies which I'm going to mention uh, in a few seconds. So this measures frequencies in the range of 200 megahertz to 8 gigahertz. Now if that doesn't mean anything to you what that is is the low and the medium bands of the current 5G uh, radio frequency spectrum okay I think they're transmitting roughly around the three and a half gigahertz at the moment but anything below um, six gigahertz is considered uh, the, the medium to low range and this can go up to eight gigahertz in the future they're looking at like the 20 to 40 to 60 gigahertz range um, but they're not doing those as yet in the UK, but they, they are doing trials on them. So what do the meter readings mean? Okay, um, there's there's a, a committee called ICNA, the International Commission, oh sorry, the International Committee on Non-Ionising Radiation Protection. Now, they set limits at... 2 watts per meter squared which is 2 million micro watts per meter squared averaged over a 30 minute period radiation at that level should not heat your skin above that they say it heats up your skin okay and it's dangerous now <laughs> sounds crazy doesn't it you can feel heat coming off a radio antenna now all the studies that are coming out, and I've read many, many studies. I don't know how many I've got here. You can see them all. Um, they, they talk about uh, non-thermal effects of radio frequency radiation. And they say, or they are saying, that all this evidence is coming out, that the levels set by ICNIRP are much too high, and they favour the telecommunications industry and there are suggestions that some of the people sitting on the committee have links with the telecommunications industry or has had links with them in the past okay won't say any more than that because i can't really um back all that up but the people that are coming down with these radio frequency sicknesses are being subjected to levels much lower than the ICNIRP guidelines. Now, I've come across a study which was conducted in Brazil. The, the name of the study, if you want to have a look at it, it's called Mortality by Neoplasia and Cellular Telephone Base Stations in the Belo Horizonte Municipality, Minas, Geris State or Jerry State Brazil okay now this study was covered was conducted sorry over a 10-year period from 1996 to 2006 and it took into account um, 856 cell towers now when you look at those dates you've got to understand that they were using technologies or frequencies that aren't the fat four and five G frequencies we're we're using today, okay. So remember, it was between it went up to two thousand and six. Now the the largest power density measured during that study was four hundred and seven thousand microwatts per meter squared. That was the highest that they recorded. Now, if you look at the ICNIRP guidelines, that's only one quarter of the ICNIRP guidelines. Yeah, or just below, just below one quarter. Okay, the ICNIRP guidelines are uh, 2 million 
microwatts per meter squared this study 407,000 microwatts per meter squared now what did I get at Dutton Towers what was the highest reading can you remember um, I took three, uh, five readings um, and the highest reading I got was 926,000 more than double of this Brazilian study now what did this Brazilian study say the closer that you there was the closer you are to a cell uh, a cell tower the more likely you are to die of neoplasia which is defined as let me find that the presence or formation of new abnormal growth tissue I'll let you work out what new abnormal growth tissue is but these people were dying at higher rates of that condition within a 500 meter radius of these cell phone towers so I've wrote a letter wrote a letter and I'm gonna uh, it's, sorry it's a question and I'm gonna uh, ask this question or put this question to the councillors at Stockport Council at the next meeting okay and I'm gonna bring you their response in another video let me just read this to you now an increasing number of scientific studies raise serious health concerns associated with prolonged exposure to 5G radiation, sorry, 5G radio frequencies, RFRs, even at levels below the guidelines set by the International Committee on Non-Ionising Radiation Protection, who only consider thermal heating effects disregarding non-thermal effects and people with metal implants such as pacemakers, dental fillings and joint replacements. So basically if, basically, if you've got any metal in you, you're not covered by the ICNIRB guidelines. 5G currently operates at frequencies similar to microwave ovens. You know those microwave ovens that really, they go like that and heat, heat heat up all the molecules in the food yeah destroy all the nutrition in the food yep so uh, 5G operates on those similar frequencies it's actually 2.45 gigahertz the, the microwave ovens require and so uh, these microwave um, microwaves require the need for numerous smaller retrans relay transmitters in the future ex which will expose residents to constant levels of millimeter microwaves what i suspect or what i predict is going to happen is these 5g frequencies are not the higher you put the frequencies the 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 uh the more trouble that they have in transmitting they can't cover big distances and things like trees get in the way of them, buildings get in the way. So we're going to see lots more of these smaller relay transmitters. They're either going to be standalone transmitters or they're going to be on the top of lampposts, I suspect. Okay, I continue. The International Agency for Research on Cancer at the World Health Organization has evaluated radio frequency radiation as a possible human carcinogen. Dr. Lennart Hardnell and his research highlights increasing links to cancer. His Swedish study on microwave syndrome associated with 5G radio frequency radiation has also revealed symptoms such as headaches, fatigue and cognitive impairments. There's many more uh, symptoms as well that he's, uh, he's come up with but I've only got a limited amount of words that I can submit in the question to the council. People have got nosebleeds, their lack of sleep, lots of things like that. Okay, the DODE study conducted in Brazil over a 10 year period with 856 cellular towers found a significant increase in mortality rates within a 500 meter radius of the tower. 
I know of two towers within 500 metres of primary schools and homes, one in Brinnington, 250 metres from Westmoreland Primary School, and within touching distance of Dutton Towers and Lenham Towers, and another recently installed in Bredbury, 400 metres from Arden Park Primary School. I have measured the power density at these locations using the same radio frequency broadband meter used in Dr. Hardell's scientific research. This is the one that Dr. Hardell used. That's why I, I made sure that I got this particular one from Canada. The meter shows that the mass in Breadbury is not yet active. However, the readings at Dutton Towers were more than double the maximum power density measured in the Brazilian study where an increased number of people died due to neoplasia which is defined as the presence or formation of new abnormal tissue growth. This is deeply concerning. So here's the request now. I urge you to halt the rollout, when I say you, I'm talking to the councillors at Stockport Council. I urge you to halt the rollout and decommission any 5G masts within a 500 metre radius of schools and homes throughout Stockport until potential hazards for human health and the environment have been fully investigated by scientists independent from the telecommunications industry. So I'm going to put that to them guys and see what they come up with. Um, what I do intend to do as well is continue to monitor the um, the power output or the power density from these masks over time so we can build up a picture. Particularly the difference when they turn this mast on in Bredbury because you know the big wheel keeps on turning as I keep saying and it seems very hard to stop the stop this wheel once it's in motion but we can but try so guys that's it for now that's the video I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I hope it's been informative uh, for you if it has leave a question down in the comments um let me know oh sorry if you've got any questions leave it in the comments below if you've got any comments on how i've done this study or how i could improve it and make it better please let me know but i'm going to continue to do this and provide you with updates um i think it's really important uh, and i also um i also wish other people were doing this as well if if you live in stockport and there's a tower near you and you want me to come and take some some meter readings for you um, I'll be more than happy to do that uh, let me know in the comments um, if you would drop an email address or contact me on my email address which is thoughts from the edge of the matrix at gmail.com thank you very much guys if you want to see more videos like this you can uh, hit the subscribe button that would help as well put a thumbs up give it a like because it helps with the algorithms and uh, the way they work in YouTube is that the more people that like it the more YouTube puts it on people's uh, timelines and stuff like that so every little helps thank you guys see you in the next one